it's finally time to unbox the ASUS Prime X370 Pro motherboard. Okay, so this motherboard has been sort of a long time waiting, at least for me, and I got sort of impatient with my pre-order, so I actually drove over to Cincinnati where there is a micro center, and they had plenty of these boards in stock, so I was able to pick this board up at near MSRP cost of $170. However, I found that if you order it through Newegg or Amazon, you may get it a little bit cheaper depending on if you get it in a bundle or not. However, I thought this wasn't really overpaying for this board, so I want to take a look at it. And by the way, guys, this will be the first video that is completely edited on my Ryzen PC, so I'm super excited to bring you those performance benchmarks uh, coming in a video very shortly. So first off, if we open this up, and by the way, like any processor box, it, it's not exciting, but um, it does give you some, some of the features, and something I'm actually a little bit excited about is that USB 3.1. I don't have any USB 3.1 devices yet. However, now that I have the ability to drive them at their native speeds, that will be coming down the road, hopefully sooner rather than later. So, let's open this up. Got my receipt in there, and the board itself. And I'll get back to that in here in a minute. Below the cardboard, we have the normal suspects from um, a motherboard unboxing, the uh, manual, which is going to be useful, and I've already looked into this, but useful for things like figuring out the front panel connectors if you have a hard time seeing the words on the screen, or more importantly to most people is the proper um, RAM for two sticks or one stick, and I'll be showing you exactly what which slots those should go into. We have a coupon, 20% off cable mod cables. That's actually kind of a nice touch. Yeah, I may actually keep that in mind. So I just dropped that on the floor. Four SATA cables, looks like two of them have right uh, 90 degree connectors. Two of them are straight on both ends. The disc with the drivers. Now, the drivers here are probably fine for this disc, especially because it just launched. What is more important than the drivers is the BIOS and to get that updated. So hopefully that's not too much of a bear to get done. A nice touch here, and I absolutely love this, a high bandwidth SLI bridge right in the box. Super, super nice touch. Good job there, Asus. Definitely a good job there. Uh, the IO panel, or IO shield rather, um, no color or anything on it, so just very basic there. And of course, Asus always includes these sort of front panel adapters, which make it far easier for you to plug in your front panel to those and then plug that directly into the motherboard header. I don't use it, but for some people that like these, um, it's actually pretty helpful. And that's all that's in the box. So let's get this thing out. Now, let me tell you, this board is super gorgeous, especially for a build that features white and black like mine does. However, I do want to point out, these heat sinks do not have any white on them. They are actually more of like a um, steel color. Um, so they are not white, even though in some of the marketing, they actually do look like they might be a little white. They are not. This, however, is white. And the accents on the PCB itself are white. Just these heat sinks are not. They are actually more of a metallic color. So other than that, it is a black and white motherboard. So on the back side, you have your uh, PS2 connector for a keyboard or a mouse. You have a bunch of USB 3. And I will note that this USB Type-C connector is a USB 3.0 speed. It is not going to be a um, USB 3.1. The USB 3.1 connectors are these sort of teal colored ones. You also have here HDMI 1.4B, and the manual does not say what type of display port this is, so it just calls it display port. You also have then your gigabit um, LAN access, and of course your audio solution back here. Now before we go any further, 
Um, one thing that's going to be worth pointing out to those of you that are installing either one stick of RAM or two sticks is that you are using these two gray uh, DIMM slots. So if you have one stick, you're going to just use the A2 slot, which is this first one here. And if you have two sticks, you'll use this slot as well as this outside slot. So A2 and B2 slots. And then obviously if you have four uh, sticks of RAM, you'll use all four slots. Some other notable features from the um, X370 Pro from ASUS here is that the fan headers come in pairs. So you have two fan headers here, and one of these two is labeled as an AIO pump, so you might want to use that header for your pump if you're using an all-in-one liquid cooler here. You have the CPU and CPU optional fan headers up here, and down at the bottom you have another pair of fan headers and one of those is labeled as a water pump. Now I suppose you could use different fan headers for things like water pumps, all-in-one coolers, that's not going to kill anything, but they do go ahead and label those out for the ones they, I guess, would like you to use or think you should use. So take that advice as you will. You have your M.2 uh, slot here as well as a front panel USB 3.1 header for anybody that happens to have a case that already has the 3.1 USB ports on the front panel. They do have a header for that, as well as the old 3.0 and 2.0 uh, headers on the bottom of the board. On the near side with the 24-pin uh, power connector to the motherboard, you also have eight SATA connectors. Uh, no SATA Express or anything like that, however, Eight SATA connectors here should be plenty for the average consumer and even above average consumer to add pretty much as many drives as you want to your heart's content. But as always, if eight SATA ports is not enough, you can always add internal SATA ports by using uh, PCI card expansion cards on your motherboard, just like any other motherboard. One of the draws of the X370 versus the B350 boards is the availability of multi-GPU solutions. In this case, we have two reinforced PCIe 3.0 by 16 slots that you would install two graphics cards in, and it would run both of those slots at by 8 speeds if you have two GPUs installed, or if you only have one, it'll obviously run it just at the by 16 speed. And both these slots are steel reinforced to give yourself a little bit of added security as far as the heavy GPUs go. You should not be ripping any of either of these slots out, so don't worry about that with the uh, extra reinforcement. Also worth noting is this third PCIe by 16 slot is just a PCIe 2.0 slot. It is not a PCIe 3.0 slot. So most people won't ever really need to know that. But in case you are somebody that does uh, use a lot of expansion cards, that is worth pointing out. And really the last thing that needs to be pointed out about these boards in general, and this applies to all the Ryzen lineup boards, the B350s and the X370s right now, um, update the BIOS as soon as you get your board and as soon as you can. Um, that will help with system stability. It'll help make sure you get the most performance out of your new Ryzen system. I will leave a link in the description for the um, download section and support section so you can download the BIOS most up to date for this board in the description down below so it is easy for you to find. So with that, that's pretty much all there is to talk about with this uh, board. It looks great. Hopefully it uh, performs every bit as well as it looks. Okay, it has been a really long day. It is probably about 11 o'clock now. Um, I have already been to Cincinnati and back. And for anybody that lives in the Indianapolis area, you know that's a bit of a drive, um, about two hours each way. So I'm gonna get on out of here tomorrow. I am gonna be building out this Ryzen system. Um, I know I said a while back that it was gonna be a 1700X, but it's actually gonna end up being an 1800X um, due to some pre-ordering issues. I was able to actually get the 1800X in. Hopefully tomorrow, it's, it's supposed to be delivered tomorrow. I have faith in UPS to get the job done. So I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. Um, if you like this video, give me a like, share, comment. All those things are super, super helpful for a small channel like mine. I'm gonna let YouTube queue up something over here. I'm Shane from Hoosier Hardware. I'm gonna get on out of here and go to bed, guys. I'll see you in the next video.